OHD L26 Method A covers the determination of asphalt content of bituminous paving mixtures by ignition of the asphalt cement at 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. This method may not be applicable to mixes containing fibers or ground tire rubber. Before running this test, make certain that you have the proper safety equipment, which should include a face shield, long heat-resistant gloves, a transport handle, and a cool-down cage. Specifications for the ignition oven and accessories are found in Section 2. We will be using the NCAT oven manufactured by Barnstead Thermaline. You will also need sample basket assemblies, a basket brush, and containers suitable for transferring the samples after ignition. Obtain the sample according to Ashto T168 and reduce to testing size according to Ashto R47. If the mixture is not sufficiently soft to separate, place it in a large pan and heat at 257 plus or minus 9 degrees Fahrenheit for a minimum of 25 minutes, but never for more than one hour. The recommended size of the test sample is governed by the maximum aggregate size in the mixture. When the mass of the sample exceeds the capacity of the equipment, divide the sample into suitable increments for testing and combine results for calculation of bitumen content. Split or quarter the mixture to obtain a test sample for moisture and volatiles. The sample size should be taken from Table 1, or 1,000 plus or minus 250 grams. Place the sample in a teared pan and determine the mass to one-tenth of a gram. Record this weight as W sub 1M. Dry the sample to a constant mass at 257 plus or minus 9 degrees Fahrenheit and record the oven dry weight as W sub 5M. We will discuss the use of these figures in the calculation segment of this video. Preheat the ignition furnace to 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. Enter the correction factor for the specific mix to be tested. Usually, this is located on the mix design. Record the weight of the empty basket assembly, which includes the two sample baskets and catch pan with the guards in place. Place the bottom basket in the catch pan and place a portion of the sample in the bottom basket. With a spatula or trowel, evenly distribute the sample, keeping the material away from the edges of the basket. Put the upper basket in place and repeat the distribution and leveling procedure with the remaining material. Place the guards on the nested basket and catch pan and weigh and record the weights. Weigh the full basket assembly and calculate the initial weight of the specimen by subtracting the weight of the empty assembly. Input the initial weight of the sample in whole grams into the ignition furnace. Verify that the correct weight was entered. With your safety equipment on, open the chamber door and place the entire basket assembly containing the specimen in the chamber. Close the chamber door and verify that the sample weight displayed on the furnace's scale equals the total weight recorded from the calculation within 5 grams. Differences greater than 5 grams, or failure of the reading to stabilize, may be caused by the sample baskets contacting the chamber wall. Initiate the test by pressing the Start-Stop button. This will lock the chamber door and start the combustion blower. The stable light will come on and the audible stable indicator will sound when the test is complete. Press the Start-Stop button. The chamber door will unlock and the test results will print out. With your safety equipment on, open the chamber door, remove the sample baskets, and allow the entire assembly to cool to room temperature. When the specimen and baskets have sufficiently cooled, transfer the sample into a flat pan, being sure to get all the fine material. The specimen is now ready for sieve analysis by Ashto T30. Calculate the percent bitumen to the nearest tenth using the following formula. Percent AC equals the quantity P sub 5M times W sub 1M divided by 100 minus the quantity 
W sub 1M minus W sub 5M divided by W sub 5M times 100. P sub 5M is the apparent asphalt content from the ignition oven printout. This value is often listed as the calibrated asphalt content on the ticket from the NCAT furnace. W sub 1M is the mass of the moisture sample before drying, and W sub 5M is the mass of the moisture sample after drying. For example, let's say we get the following data from a sample. P sub 5M equals 4.82. W sub 1M equals 1,236.7 and W sub 5M equals 1,234.8. First, multiply P sub 5M by W sub 1M, 4.82 times 1,236.7 equals 5,960.9. Then divide your answer by 100 or simply move the decimal point two places to the left to get 59.6. Next, subtract W sub 5M from W sub 1M. 1,236.7 minus 1,234.8 equals 1.9. Subtract that difference from your previous result. 59.6 minus 1.9 equals 57.7. Then divide that result by W sub 5M. 57.7 divided by 1,234.8 equals 0 0.0467. Finally, Multiply the result by 100 or simply move the decimal point two places to the right to get the final answer. Report the percent AC content to the nearest tenth. In this case, our answer would be reported as 4.7% bitumen.